So here's what's wrong with this slide. What would you change about it? You a picture. Put a picture. Yeah. Yeah. What else? We condense it. It was two words. It's too wordy. Take the italics off. It's hard to read. I taught with this monstrosity my first year at King. Because <laughs> it because it was fresh from like I could download it and just use it the next day. Horrible. Not the best. Do you have a suggestion? Uh explain what GA is. Yeah, what's GA? It's Giga Anim. Um, it's a time scale. So, don't use slides like this. Use slides that have pictures and not so many words, not italics. Um, I feel like moving on from this. I don't want to talk about it. It's from my job talk. <laughs> it's not great. Okay, so something else. This is, um, this is what would take your, your talk from a B to an A, is using transitions really well and using titles really well. So I ran out of time right before I got to this slide, but when you're, when you're talking about the data figures, use the titles on those slides to describe the data figure as well. So don't call it like figure one. Here's figure one. That doesn't really say anything. Um, an example would be one good thing about this slide is at least it's got a title saying what is the concept of all of this. So it's showing that um, plants that have certain genes will be resistant to certain microbial infections. Or go back to the data picture. I have to think of a good title for this. Something like a good title for this would be vitamin B6 um, is more beneficial than vitamin D2 for inducing enzyme activity or something like that. Because it takes less of vitamin B6 to increase this activity. So make it something that relates to what's happening in the data rather than calling it figure one or experiment one or something like that. That way you can get you can use your words in a useful way instead of wasteful way like calling it figure one. Um, the other the other thing that makes the talk really good and shows good preparation is when you have good transitions between topics. So an example is, say that um, I gave a lot of info about vaping and what kind of bad chemicals are in the cartridges and how many people have gotten sick from it and so on. And I just, I just maybe did a good job with that. And then I say, okay, my first study is this. And it's just real abrupt. It's like, here was some background. Here's a study. Here's another study. Here's my references. So make, make, um, make your talk have a good progression. Like, like when you write, you have to have transitions between ideas. Do that for your talks as well of good transitions. Okay, so after you've done all of that, after you've done all of that and it's, you know, coming up on your presentation day, you've maybe seen some examples since you've been in seminar of 
slides that were, were pretty good, but the delivery was not that great. Like you couldn't hear them, or they were super nervous, or they couldn't, they couldn't look out in the room, or they talked too fast. Hardly anyone talks too slow, because you get nervous. But too fast, too quiet, not looking around, um, not having good energy. All of that's related to delivery. And Speaking Center can, can tell you everything that you need to do about delivery. What your dumb habits are, stop playing with your hair, whatever is your problem. For me, it, don't lean on the podium. Make your voice go up and down more, which I don't do. I still don't. It's hard to change, but um, make sure that you are loud enough all the way to the corner, <coughs> all the way to this corner. Everyone can hear you. Make sure that you're pronouncing well. So if you have a word like uh, angiotensin, angiotensin. You need to know how to say angiotensin and say it the same correct way every time. If there's an important word in your, in your talk and you don't know how to say it, you need to find out how to say it. What's the name of your organism? Medionitis conradicus. Yeah. I think that's right. Who's going to know if it's wrong? Probably no one. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. Um, who's going to know if, if a drug name, if you're saying a drug name wrong? Dr. Picker. Probably. I mean, if anybody knows, he's going to know. And then try to, um, when you get up here, remind yourself that you know you should. You should know more about this than everybody else in here except maybe your advisor. You know more about it than everybody else in here. And if you've done your preparation, that's going to be true. So you picked it for a reason. It's something that interests you. Give enthusiasm to everybody else about how cool this is. And you're the expert. And make yourself feel like the expert. Um, make sure that you're wearing clothes that you're generally comfortable in. So they need to look nice. But you need to be able to walk back and forth in them, and there's a little slant right here. So if you're, if you're going to wear heels, either don't go past the slant or make sure you know it's there and don't, don't fall down. Um, don't wear shirts that show sweat. This is usually a guy thing. Do you know which of your shirts show sweat? White. Sometimes white. Blue is bad. You think of people that got so sweaty up here? I can. I always feel sorry for them. <laughs> I always feel sorry for them because you can't hide it once it starts. Once it starts showing. If you run hot, don't wear a blazer. If you if you tend to get hot when you get nervous, don't wear a sweater. <coughs> wear stuff that breathes and don't show sweat. And be excited. So the, the end here, this is stuff that's really just for science seminar. All that other stuff, it could go for any, any talk. <clears throat> um, please try to put yourself in the shoes of some other student in here who's a junior and they've not had upper level classes and they're not your major. Try to make it for them. Make it, try to make it so that they can understand it. And if they can understand it, you will have done your job. Um, think about the other majors. If you're biology, think about physics majors. If you're physics, try to try to put yourself in the bio major brain for a little bit. Um, the hard part is the data. The hard part's the data. Give us time to look at it and give yourself time to explain it. That's the biggest number one thing that everybody can do to make their seminar better is Put the data up there and don't be afraid to talk about it and explain it and stay on that slide for a couple of minutes. Help us out. Um, remember, nobody else has seen the data before that moment except you and the advisor. Don't go too fast. 
And if there's statistical markings, talk about it. If there's abbreviations, explain those. Okay, I guess that's, that's the, the end. Um, the, other, the other thing I, that I would encourage you is if your advisor suggests something to you, we're trying to help you. We're trying to help you avoid a problem in the practice before you get in here and it becomes a problem in here. So please use their expertise. Um, you might want to practice for your friends. If you want to practice for friends, that's great. And if you are nervous, tell friends to sit at a certain spot. Like make them spread out, your, your two best friends. And just look at the two of them. That's a trick. Like it looks like, like I could do this whole thing looking at just Stephen and just Allie. And the rest of you would kind of feel like I'm looking at you because I look at my face that way. What, what questions do you all have? Yeah. Will this PowerPoint be available on Canvas? I think I will put it on Canvas. It's a good idea. Amanda, what are what are the top four top four comments things to improve? Um, don't rush. Like talking too fast. Um, another one is like explain it where other majors can understand. That's a a big thing. Mm -hmm. I think those are about the the biggest two. Yeah. Looking forward to all, all the talks we've got to come in the next few weeks. So I will put this on camera.